Okay, here we are on a wonderful day with uh, Junior fishing for uh, King George Whiting and some squid. And I thought I better just uh, give you a bit of a demonstration, uh, which we haven't done so on um, testing for earth leakage down to uh, uh, through the sassy, and that's causing electrolysis to all boats, including fiberglass but aluminium because of the you know what they've been built with uh, I reckon it's a must to do so um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a uh, heads down of what we're doing today and um, it's extremely easy to test and I would definitely recommend for people who uh, have vessels to uh, test for that because that kind of save you for any electrolysis corrosion and anything else that goes wrong with uh, this kind of faults um, the only thing you need is a, a multimeter, which we have down here, and I'll just turn around. So we just have a multimeter connected on DC, uh, low voltage uh, under 20 volts, and silver silver chloride um, probe. And the only thing you've got to do is connect that particular baby to the common ground of the uh, multimeter, DC, and uh, the positive you can start from going into the battery uh, negative uh, now what we have here on our setup is twin batteries and, um, and we have the switch uh, main switch on so there is connection on pretty much everything at the moment uh, the first thing you need to do um, is to chuck this particular probe in the water very close to the vessel and not every vessel um, has got the same type of uh, measurements so for uh, from what i've been reading uh, for a uh, aluminium vessel you would be needing to see anything between 0.8 of a volt to 1.1 1.2 volts maximum this is minus volts right negative um, if you see any more uh, than that you're overprotected and that's also need to be fixed and if you're under you the same thing so let's see what happens today on our vessel so we are showing at the moment zero volts so I'm just gonna chuck that in in the water nothing exciting just pretty much around about a couple of feet under the water and um, I would suggest also to uh, have the vessel away from the marina as we are at the moment, uh, just in case there is other vessels with problems. Uh, so anchor yourself. And I would definitely also recommend to have the vessel in, in the water for more than a couple of hours. Um, so just keep it in the water and then do the test. Some people say you must have it for more than eight hours, but I don't think so, but anyway. Nevertheless, um, straight away we have it reading. Um, and I'll go through some of the readings. So here we go. It's a minus 0.97, so we are right in the middle of the scale. So that we are definitely protected, and we know that this particular vessel doesn't have any leakage at all. If you do see an issue right there and then, uh, I would definitely start um, isolating where the problems are starting from. So, for example, the first thing you've got to do is start, um, you know, turning on. Uh, one by one all of your electronics uh, including you know whatever you have wipers and have a look so I'm just gonna turn pretty much everything at the moment just for fun so there we go I'm gonna start the engine whatever electronics I've got uh, this was something that I was worrying a little bit about it before so I'm just gonna start on that and I'm gonna go back in there again and have a look and see you cannot have anything more than 0.5 of a volt so everything is working at the moment all of my pumps you can hear them so there is my voltage 0 0.8 0 0.9 so not a problem there whatsoever however again if you do see an issue you need to start measuring every single element by itself For, and what i'm trying to say that let me just switch this off and what i mean by that is you will need to isolate pretty much everything and start measuring every single earth point to whichever you you know product that you're turning on at the time so if it's lights and you know isolate them and just make sure you you're measuring that um, 
to see where the problem is coming from. Normally, the problems are coming from pumps that they are inside the water or they're touching the water or any wiring that it's not right or any earthing that it's leaking um, and that's going to cause a problem down down to the um, to the vessel. So uh, that's what I can say at the moment. Um, but it, for us, it's pretty straightforward. There was not an issue at all. If I did see an issue, I would have started isolating. Uh, but uh, thank God we don't have a problem. So you need to keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, if if you do have an issue, you obviously need to protect the boat by um, um, the usual manners. You need to read about this. Um, there's a lot of information on the net on electrolysis, and I suggest that uh, everybody should be doing that uh, if they want to keep the boats for a long, long time. So that's all for the moment. We'll keep fishing, and we'll see what we're going to catch today. Okay, catch up.